well, people at home will obviously see you sitting there with your cue. Kyron's actually come in to hit a few balls, and we've been talking about the issues he's having with his cue. And you're going to give us a little bit of an explanation because it's not just simply two bits of wood stuck together, is it? No, not at all. So it's you know it's a bit, they're 58 inches long, uh, and and the three possible problems that Kyron could be having. Is, is either with the ferrule here, the brass piece at the end, uh, which is attached to the tip, uh, or we have the weighting that's actually in the middle of the queue, the middle of the section here. There is lead weights in there that are put in for each player's personal preference, what we call the balance point, and that affects how the queue feels in your hand. A bit like a mid-engined car. Some yes. like the, the, the weight to be further near the tip, some like it to be further back. And then we also have in here the brass joint where we would be using to put our extensions in the back of the queue. Um, that's something that's retrofitted to most queues mm. as well. The problem Kyron's had, because he only discovered this, you know, a short time before he was going to play, is he's not 100% sure which one it is. Now, if, if it's the ferrule, you know, a lot of us use a little piece of metal um, uh, wire wool here to clean the ferrule. Right. And too much of that can wear the ferrule down. It becomes brittle on the sides. You know, the way we chalk it, you can, you can damage things like that. But I was speaking to Kyron. I don't think he thinks it is that. I think he thinks that as the queue was dropped at stage door, as people mobbed him for autographs, yeah. um, possibly some of the waiting inside here has come loose. And to have that fixed, that's a massive job. And if that is indeed the issue, would there be a certain type of shot that it, it would affect him on more than others? Well, there's a massive thing of, of the acoustics, you know, where a touch and feel is concerned. You know, when you're hitting that cue ball and it sounds like you're hitting it with a milk bottle, uh, it can be really off-putting. Um, you could see the crowd were reacting to it in the first session just there. Uh, the commentators both meant you can hear it. So that has an effect on your touch and feel. It all can make you a little bit anxious, you know, when, when you know that your equipment's not sort, when it's not working as you want it to, that can make you just feel a little bit anxious um, there's just very little that you can do about it yeah uh,